I've been using this awesome Monster Tech chair mounted Verbal setup for about a year now and have been on the lookout for something better for a number of reasons personal to my setup. The chair mounted setup by Monster Tech is awesome and a really good option for those looking to easily swivel their sticks out of place so that they can scoot up closer to the desk whenever they need to. Since I'm using the two mouse pads on both sides of the chair though, I struggle to move the sticks out of the way completely. When I scoot close to my desk, the verbals often hit the edge, which just feels a little clumsy. To make this work, I installed a powered USB hub under the chair to which my sticks and mini keyboard all root. The consequence of that though is that the chair itself is connected to my PC through a sort of umbilical, which means that moving the chair away is impossible. Finally, when flying Star Citizen, we often place our ship in a coupled hover so we can take our hands off the sticks and do whatever we must. With the chair mounted setup, this induces a lot of wobbles, considering that moving the chair also moves the sticks. Now, None of these things are real deal breakers. I've been enjoying this setup a lot. But still, I was on the lookout for a way to solve these little nitpicks. If you didn't know, just a few weeks ago we partnered up with Monster Tech. They will be providing prizes for the XGR Stanton Cup and when they heard of my setup, they suggested I try out their new rail mount setup, free of charge. If you're a subscriber to the channel, you know that I hate monetization and advertisement, but I'll jump at any and all opportunities to promote a product that I personally really love. The Monster Tech rail mount appears to be the perfect solution for my setup. I have some limitations with desk space, but luckily the rail mount setup is incredibly versatile. First of all, the rail mount comes in various lengths so that you can find the one that's perfect for your desk. On top of that, the stick mounts themselves come in various lengths and can be adjusted so that you can get the one that is right for your stick and length. The standard mouse pads that come with the rail mount wouldn't have fitted my setup because of the issue with my specific desk and so, thinking out of the box, Monster Tech suggested that I use their table mount mouse pads instead. These connect to the stick mount instead of the rail and allow for sliding between my desk and the cabinet beneath it. Perfect! Before we dive in game and I give you my impressions in regard to the setup, I'll take you through the installation process, just to give you an idea of how simple it is to set up and how versatile the system really is. I started by removing all of the old setup from the chair before unpacking the new goodies. I gotta say, unpacking Monster Tech gear is always a delight. They pack the stuff so nicely that it feels like Christmas every time. Now, I gotta pause. Would you consider this bribery? I'll take it. So, we've got the rail itself, the stick mounts and the mouse pads all packed neatly in their own boxes, with all the right screws, bolts and nuts to hold it into place. It's all very easy to find. You can find the manuals online, which honestly are easier to understand than many IKEA assembly instructions. Before attaching the stuff to the desk, I had a little look at my personal setup to make sure I left enough room on one side of the rail for everything to slide in. Monster Tech warns you about this, make sure that you leave enough room because if you slide the rail too far, you can't get your stuff in there. I did want to make sure though that I had enough rail on that left side for my stuff to slide out of the way. I marked with tape where I wanted the end of the rail to be, which basically left just enough room for me to slide the mounts in. Now here's a kicker. Monster Tech recommends that you use the rail mount only with solid desks considering that you have to screw the rail mount into it. My desk is cheap. I bought hollow desks from IKEA that I really liked for the look and I customized them into a desk myself. So I asked Monster Tech about this and they suggested that I would be totally fine assembling the rail mounts using a two component glue. So I sat down to sand down the top of the rail to which I would apply all of this glue. I wanted to make sure I had a good adhesive surface. 
I mixed all of my glue together in a little tub just to make it easier to work with. I let it sit for 30 seconds and started applying it to the rail using a cheap brush. Use an underlay so you don't have to wipe glue off of your beautiful floor like me. With the rail glued, it was time to assemble the stick mounts and pads. Building these is so much fun, honestly. They are very simple and straightforward and very hard to get wrong. While attaching the mouse pad, I ran into a space problem though. I hadn't considered this. Because of the screws that fixed the mount in place, I had insufficient vertical space to attach my pad. So I considered for a while how to solve this issue and opted to only fix the mounts in place with a single screw so I could mount the mouse pad where I needed it. I can already tell you now that the mounts fix in place absolutely fine with only a single bolt and can highly recommend it if you need the same solution. The funny thing is, because I now have two bolts that I didn't use, I could use these for something else. I use them as dead stops to make sure that when moving my mounts in place, they always stop and fix in the place at the same location. Very handy for anyone with OCD tendencies to make sure that their sticks are in the same place each time. Hey, Monster Tech, you guys really have an opportunity here. I highly recommend coming up with a little gadget that allows you to make a stopper anywhere on the rail. This makes it easy for anyone to easily mount their stuff in the same place each time. With this new desk mounted setup came also the challenge of rerouting the cables. But this is fun, right? We all like doing this. I cut some plastic cable routing the shape and used a lot of double sided tape to fix it all in place, USB hub included. With everything squared away and cleaned up, I gotta tell you, I could not have been happier with how it all came out. From the fact that my chair is free again, to the really solid feel of the sticks mounted to the desk, I am really, really pleased. around in Star Citizen feels even better, with the sticks practically in the same location, and the added positives of being detached from the chair, which makes for a really comfortable experience. I've also been dabbling in Flight Simulator lately, really enjoying the awesome aerodynamic flight modeling they have there. The new rail mounted setup works just as great there. I've been using the left pinky lever as my throttle, which feels okay, though I'd love to expand my setup with a proper throttle and more, if only I were rich. Switching between sim gaming and normal PC use is as good as I hoped it would be. It's super easy to slide the mounts out of the way and huddle close to the desk for normal KBM use. When it's time to fly, slide the mounts back in place and it's happy days. Monster Tech Rail Mounts, 10 out of 10, would slide again.